So today we're looking at a book by B. Dylan Hollis, Baking Yesteryear, the best recipes from the 1900s to the 1980s. I bought this from Amazon for about £14 or £15, although the published price for the UK is £20 and it's from the DK publisher. In this book, uh, Dylan, who's from Bermuda, but lives in the States and drives a lovely pink Cadillac, um, dedicates a book to um, Peggy Hollis, his grandmother, and it covers cakes, biscuits, cookies, and the like from the 1900s right up to the 1980s. It also includes some recipes that you don't really want to try because they don't actually taste very nice. There's no baked recipes, penguin icebox cake, magic ice cream, coconut ice and something called ambrosia and something that sounds very threatening but is actually nice is peanut butter styrofoams but they're not really styrofoams they are actually peanut butter there's oatmeal honey bread leftover bread pancakes which is one of Dylan's favourites uh, which is actually pancakes made from leftover bread there's um, queen of puddings, peppermint patties which are very easy to make. I think I shall have a go at making some of those, although in deference to my wife's dislike or allergy to chocolate, might do peppermint patties without dipping them in chocolate. There's also um, something very interesting, a tomato soup cake made of tomato soup, which doesn't actually taste of tomatoes. And there's also Anzac biscuits, which uh, is an Australian and New Zealand um, delicacy. We also have recipes from the Depression era, which include something called unemployment pudding, poor man's pie, and um, something called pork cake, which is actually the cake made with um, ground pork, or minced pork as we call it in the UK, but uh, maybe, maybe not something I'd be eager to try. Well, I do think that cornflake macaroons from the 1900s sounds very nice and there's recipes from the 1980s including millionaire shortbread, Watergate cake, cream banana cake and peanut butter and jelly cheesecake which uh, I must admit does sound nice and there's also gel o poke cake which I think we just use standard jelly in that in the UK and there's ice cream cone cupcakes, potato chip cookies, and also something that I found quite fascinating as an idea, potato donuts, with donuts actually made using potatoes. I think that we are going to be trying some of the recipes, maybe not jellied meatloaf, because I, I, I watched Dylan do that on the on, on YouTube and uh, that and spaghetti o jello ring are probably two things we're not going to be going for. And also prune whip pie and roughage loaf sound a little bit um, a little bit interesting. Although the problem is anything with prunes, you do have to when book your place in the WC later, I would have thought. And there's chocolate mayonnaise cake, which sounds interesting. Uh, apparently it doesn't taste of mayonnaise, which is, uh, which is interesting. And there's also saquilos, which are um, basically two ingredient biscuits or cookies from uh, Brazil. That's uh, that'll be worthwhile looking at. There's also sour cream cookies, which sounds nice, and a recipe for um, mock apple pie, which includes no apples at all, and yet does actually taste very much like apples. But uh, is something I think I shall be having a having a look at. There's also something which is not known in America so much, but Dylan's trying to promote it, it's um, rice pudding. Good old standard rice pudding, which uh, I must admit I do quite, quite like. I think I'll um, draw it to a conclusion now, and uh, we'll let you know how we get on actually baking some of these recipes.